Good afternoon everybody, my name is Sizzle and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Um, today we are going to get a cane run. We've only beaten mom with cane. Let's play some cane then. So um, this episode might be late today. <clears throat> um, just for the fact that uh, things are happening. We will take Verico's veins. Um, Verico's veins will, um, pardon me, will uh, basically explode tears out um, when we get damaged. I only have two HP, so I don't necessarily want to show it all for you. But knowing me, you guys will see it anyway. That was really close, really, really close. Sorry, also if I sound a bit sick. Um, just got done sneezing. In the morning. Uh, it is what it is, I suppose. I people with a bitch and all that. <clears throat> so, um, starting off with uh, there you go. That's what very good strength says. Um, starting off with some pretty good movement speed, yeah, actually. Um, that's definitely gonna help uh, dodging some enemies and some attacks. 420 damage, woo. And the lucky foot. I think that's just, it's a, <clears throat> it's a basic, uh, just a st uh, stat up for luck. That's it, it gives you plus one luck. Um, safety scissors is great. Uh, safety scissors will take any uh, troll bombs that spawn, those uh, bombs that automatically are like lit up and um, want to blow up and as soon as they blow up they will just turn into normal bombs that we can just pick up then. Uh, four keys and eight coins. We can we, we can afford to go have a look. Um, let's just buy this. I'm gonna save this for the next floor though. So that we can, um, because we can't get a devil deal on this floor. So, we we'll save it for the next floor. We get Duke. Duke is actually, for some reason, and I don't know why, but he's actually one of my favorite bosses to fight. Um, regardless of what tiers I have, what tier effects I have. Um, <clears throat> Um, it, he is a bit annoying when when you get a, uh, like a really really slow tears rate. Um, if you have, even if you have strong damage, I'm. Mean, it's just. The, whoop. But for some reason, I really enjoy the fight against uh, the Duke of Light. Anyway, we'll get thirty three. Thank you. We'll use the Hydra fan. Thank you. And down we go. <coughs> Curse of the Unknown. We know for a fact that we have 4 HP. 2 red and 2 soul. So we just need to keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sure. Seraphim so will um, shoot out a strong, slightly homing tier. Um, I say strong as in it does a lot of damage, but his attack speed is quite uh, quite slow. Uh, just give me a second here, quick. Sorry, a bit of a tickle in my throat. Um, you ever cough so hard you start seeing those weird dots? Like you know when you push your eyes too hard. I'm seeing that now. It's kind of. But uh, this is uh, literally, it's, uh, it's a hip of a thing. It's just like a snotty nose. Um, uh, it's just like tickling my throat. It's 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 not the Rona. Well, I mean, nobody really can say that for sure, but still, you know. It's not the Rona. Not for sure, but it's, it's not the Rona. But not for sure. It's not the Rona. 
Right. We'll pick up this pull to do nothing with it and then go in here. Uh, piggy bank is interesting. What does piggy bank do? Well, piggy bank, every time we uh, get hit, we will drop a coin. Oh, spiders, run away, come back. So every time we get hit, we will pick up a, uh, well, piggy bank will drop a coin for us. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We at least get paid out from, what? Oh, right, that was, um, it was very good veins that killed him there. Um, I know we only have two red hearts. Um, I think we go for it. We don't take little harbingers, the, the 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 scroll that you saw there. We don't we don't do that. Um, no soul heart here. No way to reroll. Mm, yeah, we just I think we just leave. Oh, there might be some stuff we can collect here, like that key. And I was stupid. I think we might be on half a heart. Okay, we're on one heart at least. Sorry. I know this because there isn't P when we walk in the door. <clears throat> so at least we're on a whole heart. Okay, I'm sure the secret room must be here then. If it wasn't at that bottom one. Yeah, there you go. Reroll machine does nothing here. Movement speed is pretty good. Right. So we are going to need a um, a damage up or a tears up or something. We we are going to need to start looking for better damage output. Um, Seraphim, the little Seraphim angel thing guy does help, but obviously it's not entirely accurate. <clears throat> so, oh, we actually have quite a bit of HP. Now we've got even more. Nose Goblin is great. Um, but do we take it over Safety Scissors? That's the question. Because uh, Safety Scissors will give us bombs and it will eliminate um, <clears throat> pardon me, the charges, the chances of getting hit by bombs. But Nose Goblin is pretty good. The benefits of flying gives you three cents and all these things. Okay, so there you see on the top left there that, watch this bomb here, they just turned into normal bombs, there you go, cool. So now we got quite a few bombs, so do we go back for the, uh, I'm not a fan of Gemini, but we'll take it anyway. Do we go back for Nose Goblin? I mean, do we? Um, I'm going to take BFF. It will, BFF doubles the damage that your uh, followers do. Yeah, I'll take notes, Goblin. 13 bombs should be enough for a while. Me thinks. Uh, let's go find the boss room. There's no boss room. Pretty sure it's here. Look, we don't, don't can't afford to donate keys to that guy. So nose Goblin will sometimes shoot out like a booger tier. So that will stick to an enemy and then do uh, damage over time. Pretty good against bosses. <clears throat> it's basically the uh, the common cold effect, except uh, nope. except um, in trinket form. So you can drop it. it. Must be here. Okay, it must be here. Mm hmm. We use the High Priestess card to do that. We will take Synthoil and go away. <clears throat> that was a pretty quick uh, flaw. Nope. I'm not fighting bosses for a uh, normal chest. So 
So, uh, Gemini is obviously going to be a lot better now. Um, so is the... Uh, is it Seraphim? I didn't even read the... I know Seraphim is the transformation that you we can get if you pick up certain angel items, but... What is this thing called? Little Seraphim or something? The angel guy, whatever. They will do extra damage. Ooh, we find greed in the special room. Um, and we find some... Okay, come on. We find some more coins. There we go. So the shop is definitely going to look... Uh, <clears throat> it's definitely going to be a little bit more... Tantalizing. More coins. So synth oil is very good for our damage. Varicose veins. So now it's blatantly obvious every time I get hit, thanks to uh, Varicose veins. But we're looking alright. I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, we're looking alright. Thank you, Gemini. Right, um, it could be below us, the secret room. Let's take a chance. Hey, hey, hey. I probably shouldn't say that. Hey, hey, hey. Is that better? Um, okay. Come on, item room. Come on, item room. I hate these guys. Very solid words. Mm -mm. Sacred isn't bad, but it's not great. The wafer is great. The wafer is super, super great. And what the wafer does is it will take any damage that we that would do a whole heart of damage. Only does half a heart. Of Guppy's collar out of nowhere. So we're one one third of uh, Guppy down already. We will take tarot cloth. Uh, tarot cloth will make all our tarot cards uh, activate twice instead of once. Um, we'll pick this up and we'll pick this up and we'll do it. There you go. So, yeah. So hopefully the 72% chance for a devil deal actually activates. But we'll see. I don't like Mega Fatty. He takes way too long. He's got way too much HP. So we're going to use our strength card, which will then activate twice. Strength will give us a uh, stats up, especially damage. And then... Uh, red heart as well. We'll take this for the sake of taking this and then go away. So we're in Necropolis 1 on 11 minutes. This run is going really, really fast. Going really, really quick. Um, after this level, we've got one more level before we fight Mom. So. We should be keeping an eye out for any uh, teleportation cards. Um, anything like the moon, the stars card, uh, the fool, even the joker. Um, so that we can get into boss rush. And then get out of it without having to fight any of the bosses. It'll be really sneaky, Charlie. Right, so we found the boss, but I uh, want to go and find the secret room. Ah, uh, not the secret room, sorry, the uh, item room. And hopefully we get a damage out of that, because... Uh, as Look, I mean, our damage isn't bad, but it is subpar for this level. We'll have a look as soon as we can. Um... More options is interesting, yeah. I like more options. Um, even if you're only going to use it twice, basically, um, I would prefer to get it. 
or more options, or oh, there's options, sorry. There's options, uh, what it'll do, it'll, is, it will spawn uh, two items at the end of the boss run, or at the end of the, the boss, instead of one, and then you can pick and choose which one you want, the other one will just disappear as soon as you type the other one, so. Yeah, uh, this is interesting. But I think Nerd's Goblin is better for us for our damage. Uh, Fire Mind is not something we want. Work Ball is definitely not something we want. Nope. No. No. Um, yeah, I mean, Little Brim is good because we got BFF. Well, Little Brim is good regardless. Um,. But yeah, we have uh, BFF, Best Friends Forever, which makes Little Brim stronger, I believe it should. So, yes. This fucking mask again for me. Okay, um, Little Brim is probably a very good choice then, because uh, Mask of Infamy is very difficult to uh, shoot from head on when he's charging you, and obviously Little Brim's got the charging shot. Okay, uh, is that blood clot? We haven't found the shop. Oh, we did find the shop, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll take the blood clot rather. Just so that, that you know, the other item was pageant boy. And, um, pageant boy just drops money for you. We get our second Guppy item. Guppy's head, which will uh, spawn between one and four flies for us. I don't know if uh, flies and blue spiders are, whoops, are affected by BFF, but I don't think so. Okay, I really gotta pay attention. Let's um, let Brimstone do his thing. Don't, uh, don't, de don't deprive little rooms. He's stronger than you think he is. Way stronger than you think he is. The chariot is not going to help us get out of boss rush. So we got about, what, four and a half minutes here. Um, remember, mom needs to be dead in 20 minutes by 20 minutes sorry so we got a is that the doctor's from there? It's, uh, that's also not gonna help that's also not going to help please give me a tarot card nope mom's coin push will obviously spawn a couple of um Pulls and <clears throat> give you an extra uh, slot for. I don't know if it's specified four pulls, but it'll give you an extra slot for four pulls um, with that uh, where I'm holding my tarot card. <clears throat> I believe um, anything that gives you an extra slot there will give you a slot for everything. So, uh, pulls, tarot cards, um, any kind of usable item like that. Okay, we find a shop. We can get a teleport card here, or not. We get blank card, um, which we can't buy. Nope. Come on. There's a tarot card. The magician's not gonna help. Um, yeah, we're screwed. We're gonna have to fight the boss rush. I don't want to have to fight the boss rush. I don't think I can. Oh, well. I think I'm gonna keep the Magician card for... For the boss rush instead. Um, 
just because it's going to last longer it's going to be a little bit more beneficial and because a lot of time the bosses are going to be off the screen so we'll take the negative and we'll go in here well let's first just see if there's anything worth it in here absolutely not coffee Okay, so we are one away from getting Guppy. Just one. And if we get Guppy and uh, flies are affected by BFF, I think it's pretty much GG. I think it's gonna be cheap. But let's be honest, this is Isaac. We're probably not gonna see that outcome. Probably not. We're not gonna get copy. And it probably doesn't work either. I'll you know what? <clears throat> I'll check. But I'm not gonna check now. I'll check at the end. I'll check if BFF helps uh helps copy. Ugh. Yeah, basically if it helps blue flies and blue spiders. Cool, running into every room that isn't the boss room. Uh, just remember guys that there is no there is no item room anymore. There is no shop anymore. So we're just looking for the boss room. So. I believe I've got a feeling that it tells me to go this way to the right. Is there a real point in me picking up uh, keys and bombs and stuff anymore? Especially my there's no real point. Is this death card? I'll keep the death card instead, just because I know it's gonna use twice because of tarot cloth. So what's in here? Anything? I'm gonna wait for the splits. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Okay. 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 Interesting. 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 I think we take we take Goat Head, and then we take Hall of Babylon. Did that not work? Oh, there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, Hall of Babylon is a. Um, <clears throat> it kind of works weird. Like, um, you have to be on one red heart, one half a red heart, or less. So, you have to be on this much HP. You can have as many soul hearts or black hearts as you want, but you have to be on one half a red heart HP, and then you get a, a, a boost, right? A damage boost. Um, if you're playing as Eve, you, you can be on a whole, oh, 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 you can be on a whole red heart. Okay, so what I did there was I took, um, I took Goat's Head so we can guarantee getting a Devil Deal forever. Well, not forever, I think this last floor we can get a Devil Deal. And then, um, oops. And then, uh, because we're... It used our last uh, red heart. Um, when you pick up War of Babylon, it activates. It didn't activate in the room that we picked it up, but it activated in the next room. Um, and yeah, so basically, use the go to head just to get the buff from War of Babylon. Because um, although Dark Bomb is a good idea, um, that was the one that was standing next to War of Babylon after the, the fight of the fallen. Um, I don't believe, okay, I think Silent Spell or Black Tooth is going to be better. I don't know, this is not the one I thought it was. Okay, let's use this, let's go in here, let's use this. 
hate eyeballs. Bye. Devil deal. Not worth it. Absolutely not. Even if with be, um with BFF, it is absolutely not worth spending three quarters of our stuff. Do we go to hush? No. We are not prepared for hush. <clears throat> okay. Look, I know we're looking good, but we cannot afford to be stupid. We cannot afford to make stupid plays. Um, <clears throat> oh no. How many pieces too? Thank you. Okay, that's not worth it. Right here. So I don't see us getting a our third guppy item. I mean, yeah, we do kind of expect that to happen unless we find red chests, which I don't think we can in the cathedral. I'm not sure though. Um, unless we find red chests, we will not be getting guppy on this run. The only reason, the only reason I can think of um, that would make picking up. Um, okay, we can get red chests now. So let's have a look. So the left hand will spawn any, uh, will turn any chest that might spawn into red chests. I mean, that's how we can get Guppy. So it's a long shot, but we'll see. Oh, absolutely shredding things. Okay. I'm just gonna walk into every room on this map and still haven't seen a red chest. There we go. No guppy. Okay, there's the boss. Or well, there's Isaac. Do we want to go and look for a red chest first? And risk the 4 HP that we have? Uh, skulls can have a chance to drop black hearts for you. What's this? The magician. Um, yeah, so we've been into every room except the the hurt room. So we're just going to pick up the goblin. No, it's goblin. Um, yeah, the, the left hand isn't going to help us at all now. We don't have any uh, rooms left to get the rich chest out of. So, I mean, I tried... Was going the top opposite corner of where it started. You'll be safe all the time. There's also look. I mean, there are other places you can dodge for those things, but um, that's that's where I know I, for a fact I will be safe. So you can sometimes dodge in the bottom of, of these uh, of the corners as well sometimes, but I don't know which corner it is. But that's Isaac. Quick and easy. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty quick run actually. Um, I shall see you in the next one.